Guys, you can't even know, imagine who you are. You are in the paradise I looked through who found here. We found the Steve O from the Jackass. Good morning. It is seven o'clock and we are in the tunnel of Linjola. Um, I'm with my partner, Lorencito. Uh, he told me he will bring me to hike in a surprise place. Veamos este caso. I'm very happy. Uh, it's it's so funny because uh, Lorencito, it's he has 74 years old. I am 46, and the truth is, the music that he listens is much modern than me. He listens to the Guns N' Roses, Van Halen, like Highway to Hell, and, and all that music. We, uh, ¿Qué tal esto? <laughs> well, I am listening to Camilo Sesto, Julio Iglesias, Paloma San Basilio. What? We made a stop because we are in the Pobla de Segur and we made a stop here because we need to purchase the sandwich, our lunch, that we will eat today. And now we're going to have a free breakfast because we are kind of hungry and it's a fuel refuel and then we'll continue. Lorenzo, ¿qué pena que hay latino en todos lados? Dices aquí, aquí catalán solo, pues toma, dale. <laughs> and you know what Lorenzo just did? Lorenzo bring me to the Lake San Maurice. Lago San Mauricio. And we this is one of the most beautiful parts where the G11 goes to. And it's so pretty where we are right now. Wow, Lorenzo, thank you so much. Because Lorenzo knows that I couldn't start the G11 as I was planning for personal reason. Uh, and wow, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. I'm, I'm really enjoying the views. And <laughs> we are in, in the parking lot already. And the, that was... It's, it's, it's so pretty, everything, everything. I can just imagine myself. I cannot imagine my family here. My family won't like it. But Noelia, yes, I know Noelia will love this. So Noelia, when you'll be seeing this video, I will bring you. We will left mom and Valeria at Barcelona and I'll bring you here. I know Noelia, you will love it. Oh my God, look at this forest. I am like in Disney World, exactly. I am like in the Disney World. My God, my God, my God, thank you, Lorenzo. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Lorenzo. Thank you so much. It's in Disney World, here I come. <laughs> oh. I am like in Disney World. I don't know if you can listen to the sound of the birds singing. We started our route to the lake of San Maurici. Nestled at the threshold of Catalonia's Saint Maurici Park, 
We embark on a journey that commences with a passage through a dense forest. This is the prelude to an enchanting narrative of natural wonder. As we step into this wooded sanctuary, we are instantly immersed in a world apart, a place where the boundaries between reality and dreams begin to blur. The forest, with its ancient gnarled trees and lush undergrowth, draws us in with its serenity and mystery. It is as if the whispering leaves and dappled sunlight conspire to guide us gently into an alternative realm where time slows and nature's secrets come to life. This dense woodland, in all its wild splendor, serves as our gateway to the heart of St. Maurice Park. It is a place where the play of light and shadow on the forest floor is the overture, where the soft rustling of leaves and the occasional trill of birdsong prepare our senses for the visual symphonies that await us further along this path. This, my friends, is where we tune our souls to nature's frequencies, where we adjust our gaze to perceive the nuances of the wild, and where we come to appreciate the subtle complexities of the natural world. Indeed, it is within this forest that we begin our pilgrimage, a pilgrimage that will reveal the true treasures of St. Maurice Park, captivating our hearts with its timeless beauty and awakening a sense of awe and reverence for the splendors of the natural world that lie just beyond. I really want to thank you, my friend Lorenzo, because when Lorenzo knew that I won't be doing the GR11, he knew I was so sad and frustrated and, and he told me, Jordi, can you give me two days? I want to give you a surprise. And he, with 74 years old, he didn't tell me, he didn't tell me that he would bring me to hike one piece of the most beautiful part of the year 11 that's where we are right now so thank you Lorenzo for what you just did I'm so grateful L Lorenzo always knows everything Lorenzo is going to explain us the name of those mountains Lorenzo, what are those montañas? Los Encantados in English is Enchanted Lorenzo, y ese el Collado Encantados, ¿verdad? Sí. So the mountains that we saw over there they are like the typical skyline of the San Marisi. As Lorenzo told us, when we go to the lake, we will see it more clearly. Los Encantados. Esta montaña mítica de los Pirineos se ha convertido en el símbolo del Parque Nacional. Si después de llegar al estadio de San Maurici decidí seguir en dirección al de la ratera, podréis ver en la profundidad brecha que separa las dos cumbres gemelas. Las figuras encantadas de los dos cazadores de sarrios que fueron convertidos en piedra por burlarse de los romeros que iban en peregrinación a la ermita de San Maurici. San Maurici. Costumbre que han conservado hasta hoy en día los vecinos de Spot. Guys, so we are just uh, far a fountain that it's from the, the Ermita. So you can see, we just heard uh, the story behind the enchanted mountains. That is the one that are behind us. And now we're going to the Ermita. As you can see how the terrain it is for now, it's because of the wild board. They remove everything in search of food and insect and insect. So if you, if the ground is just like that, you can imagine the size of the wild boar that it's walking here. In the next chapter, 
We will witness the conclusion of our adventure as we visit one of the most stunning locations in the Catalan Pyrenees, a place that is part of the legendary GR11 route. So don't miss the upcoming episode, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Well, even if you didn't enjoy it, go ahead and share it anyway to play a little trick on a friend. Guys, you can not imagine who you are. You are in the paradise I looked through who found it here. We found the Steve O from the Jackass. I'm so glad, and of course, we already took a picture with him because it's incredible that we found him in a little piece of Spain. It's Steve O. Steve O, it's so nice to meet you. It's, uh, nice to meet Whoa, you. Whoa, Steve O is a mega. You know, I admire you a lot. <laughs>